Tommy Vassetti? Ha, <laughs> shit. Didn't think they'd ever let him out. He kept his head down. Helps people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhoods, it will be bad for business. Well, what are we gonna do, Sonny? We treat him like an old friend and keep him busy out of town, okay? We've been talking about expanding down south, right? Vice City is 24 karat gold these days. The Colombians, the Mexicans, hell, even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all drugs, Sonny. None of the families will touch that shit. Times are changing. The families can't keep their backs turned while our enemies reap the rewards. So, we send someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice, quiet slice, okay? Who's our contact down there? Ken Rosenberg. Schmuck of a lawyer. How's he gonna hold Vercetti's leash? We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Give it a few months. Then we go down. Pay him a little visit, right? See how he's doing. It's uh, Ken Rosenberg here. Hey, hey, great, hey. Well, uh, I'm gonna drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So uh, if all goes well, we should uh, be doing very nice to ourselves, which is, you know, good. Okay, so they're brothers, okay? One operates the, uh, the business and the other one does the flying. Okay, that's them and the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight, let's go. Got it? 100% pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens? 10s and 20s, used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit! Poke my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shovels shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. We interrupt your programming with a message from the State Department. All bridges and some roads in the Vice City metropolitan area have been closed because of a severe weather warning. Meteorologists are tracking Hurricane Hermione, which has devastated five Caribbean islands and is heading for Vice City. More updates soon. Tommy! Tommy, it's been too long. I know, I know. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money. No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! 
You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with. Wait, Sonny. You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get you your money back and the drugs, and I'm going to mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm going to let you handle this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. Go get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's re ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine and then I'm gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite, of course I have an invite, but there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door, no I way, not I told you, happen. shut up, I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, 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 hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here, stop by Raphael's, tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. Who does that guy think he is? Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with him? I like this shirt. Buenas noches. I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or mental well-being, Mr. Bersetti. He's just got a touch of agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Miss Davis! Karamia, could you look after our guest while I attend to my necessary obligations? Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with it. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our Congressman Alex Shrub with rising silicone star. Candy and have you met my lovely wife, Laura? No? Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba's star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Well, now, I'm looking at some prime... And that poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent, lead singer with Love Fist. Yeah, can I tell you? Do you know how they play ping pong? In Thailand. Let me tell you. It does not involve a battle, if you know what I mean. Impotent. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right-hand gimp, Gonzalez. 
and the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo-intellectual film director the Steve Scott. The throws a passion with the Nympho invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. And now, you never saw anything like that before. Colonel, your party's as if a triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Oh, the nada, name. amigo. How do we find you? <laughs> Our business is very dry. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies, amigo. Who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz. He's Mr. Cope. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go. Let's get the out of here. Sure Actually, take me to the pole position. Drinks. Working for my father? Maybe. Do you mind me resting my hand in your lap? Maybe. So difficult having a rich and powerful father. Vamos. See you around, handsome. I'm sure you will. Well, I hope you're having a good time, because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it. Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slime ball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, all right? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Take it easy now. This is the scene you slay, little one. Where'd you pop up from? I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know what I am? Looking for some English guy. Kent Paul. Kent Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort things out. You know what I mean? I'll treat you. Whatever you want, I'll get you, girl. Don't you worry about a thing, mate. You're lost, honey. Oi, 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 oi. You Kent Paul? I'm a friend of Rosenberg's. Rosenberg? Rosenberg? Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser. That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> Get another drink, bruv. Everybody's a comedian. Listen to me. I'm missing 20 keys and a lot of cash. Drugs, mate? It's a mugs game. What do you know about it? Oi, oi, well, what I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals that kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. I will. And I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, that's right. Go and walk away, you mug. I knock you spark out. Give me a drink. And where's that slut? What you looking at? You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some, too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. 
Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. Well, no need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. We need to watch each other's back. My back's just fine, brother. You sure about that? Here, take this. Follow me. This way! You gotta realize about this town. You gotta pack some heat. Local gun shops a couple of blocks away. See what I can dig up. I'll be watching you, Tommy. Take it's you. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna need new pants. Hey, those psychos from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon. Now, where is the goddamn money? Relax, relax. We're not at that part oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this. I really did. And now those guidos say we gotta do them a favor. You mean I gotta do them a favor? Oh, of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now, look. It's either that or Ferelli's cousin Giorgio gets five years for fraud. You gotta take these guys out. I understand. Help the jury change their minds. Don't worry about no, it. No, 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 no! I tried that. The jury case didn't go so well. So make them change their minds. All right, more crap to wipe up. What did I do wrong in a past life? Some Florida moron. Esto está horrible. ¿Qué es lo que está pasando? Giorgio sends his regards.
can't believe this is happening! You remember Giorgio? You remember he's innocent? I ain't got no suntan. We well, ain't got my money either, so I'm one of them myself. What are you doing? So tell me, tell me, what are you doing? I'm looking for the money, Sonny. Don't worry. I am worrying, Tommy. That's my style, because I seem to have this problem in my life with unreliable hey, people. Don't be an unreliable person, Tommy, please. Do us both a favor. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Avery goes without saying. Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 no. Tell me later, tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party. Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> Haven't we got other things on our mind? I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay? calm down, both of you. Son, you help me, and any greaseballs giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay. What could I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should, stop by my office sometime. Who are these pricks anyway? Lawyer pricks, rug-wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks. Mr. Versetti. Colonel. Thank you for coming. Please sit. Lobster? No, thanks. Uh, I am ashamed to admit that one of the causes of our mutual problem appears to have been the loose tongue of a man I used to trust. I've been carrying Gonzalez for years, but now his incompetence reaches new heights. It's only right that you kill Gonzalez. Did he do it? It's the money that's important to me. For well, this kindness, I'll reward you. And then, we will find your money together. He will be at his penthouse, half drunk, probably. Use this.
I am the boss's right hand man. I'm gonna shut that big mouth of yours. Uh, he's got a blade. Stop running, you fat slime ball. Go away from me, you fool. First pet on foot. Respond to a 10, 7, south, 5 point. This is what a 10, 17, south, 5 point. Tommy, come and join me. This looks delicious, eh? Cap your snout. No, oh, no, no, no thanks. Tommy, you are like a pompous breeze that has freed me from the stench of corruption. Although I must appear to mourn his passing and carry on with business as usual. This isn't getting me any closer to my money. Tommy, my friend, you are not in liberty now. Here, we do things differently. I will continue with my inquiries, but in the meantime, I have a valuable deal to close. A favor for a friend, Cortez? You're a good friend, Tommy. I knew you would not let me down. I need you to meet a courier who has obtained some valuable technology for me. The rain, she is très wet this time of the year. What? Ah, come on? Look, you Cortez cannot. sent me. Just give me the damn chips. Oh, d'accord. Freeze imperialist American pig. That is propriété of a gouvernement français. Hand it over. You American idiot. They followed you here. Shoot them, police. police. You've got to do better, Mr. Snell. Ha! You eat my dirt. Respond to a 10, 7, south, west, Washington, east. Stop at the scene in a motorbike. Thomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's men at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Diaz, huh? Apparently that angry midget runs this madhouse. Let's see what that creep has to do with things.
hogging all the action, I see. Look, you want to do something other than just shadowing me everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy Versetti. Let's go. You must be Coltesa's new gun. Until more gainful opportunities arise. We'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay, I'll take the balcony. You get the roof across the yard. Don't worry, man. Don't worry, I got you covered. I live! Take heads, and it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. You Shit, where's that guy, Lance? Park yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my daddy used to say, never look a gift horse in the mouth. And by golly, he never did. Would you like a drop of the old Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. 
Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin paper pushing. It's about dirt and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here, now. I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. This guy's my new friend. I never had a friend with a wig before. Hey, baby, you just Is this me? Rattle? Nice ass, baby. Now look here, son. I got a problem, and I reckon you could help me with it. I'm no builder. No, I was thinking more of your demolition skills. Now this here, this is the development as planned, and this, this is the property that we're looking at. You're trying to say this new office block is kind of in the way. You catch on quick. Now I'm gonna head out of town for a while, and if that office development would have faced sudden and insurmountable structural problems, then I... As a civil-minded individual, you feel obliged to step in and save the rejuvenation of an important area of the city. Where can I get more guys like you? That was a big to-do. What the f-
What was that? I gotta lay off the pills. I'm seeing shit. Some piss ain't messing around. I'll bust your wise ass toy. Cross kill the mouse. Want me to drill you? your head off uh, who is this thickhead Tommy Versetti you remember me excuse me I'm a little anxious never trust a goddamn horse you do a good job you work for me now I work for money as I said amigo you work for me now I work shut for up me. some Judas has betrayed me he thinks I don't know how much money I should be making but stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. No one does this to me. No one. You follow him from his apartment, and you see where he goes. Later, we will kill him. This asshole thinks he can mess with me? If this is the best Vice City has to offer, this is gonna be easy. They call me vacuum cleaner.
shit! Loser! Slow, Granddad. You better keep on running, asshole. Hey, driving. What kind of incompetent fool are you? Fool! 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 Tommy! What, Ricardo? These idiots, they're always trying to screw you. That's the problem with this business. What do you think you're doing? These pricks have failed me miserably. Soon any mom and pop will think they could sell Gallo in Vice City. What next, huh? The stinking mafia? That gang place is a fortress at ground level. So Quentin here, Quentin, Quentin! Who fly you over the area? Eradicate them! What do you think you're doing? What are you doing here? Hey, I've been asking around. It's obvious that Diaz jumped the deal and iced my brother. And he'll kill you too. I can take Diaz. No, listen to me. I'll handle Diaz. He's beginning to trust me. One thing puzzling me. What's with Quentin? I don't know. I always kind of liked it. Quentin Vance. Vance? He named Lance Vance? Hey, I got enough of that at school. Lance Vance, poor bastard. 
Where the hell are we headed anyway? Broad Island! You ever fire one of those from a whirly? No, I'll get a bit of practice on the way though. was pleased and would like to meet you again. Is that a good thing? Of course. Although I'm starting to think that Diaz was responsible for our unfortunate loss. What makes you say that? One does not wave accusations at a man like Diaz. I'm merely thinking out loud. No matter. I have a proposal that you could profit. I don't have time to run more errands, Cortez. I would have thought a man with such dangerous dates would be hungry for opportunities. Please, Tommy, at least hear me out. Go on. I have a buyer for a piece of military hardware that is being taken through town. Pick it up for me, and once you get it, I want you to call me immediately. Then...
go get some donuts, soldier. Sir, yes, sir. Convoy, halt. Give me that. Civilian, move away from the tank. Civilian in the tank, stop it. Fixing positions. I mean, this is Donald Love. Donald, this is Tommy Vercetti, the latest gunslinger to come to these parts. Now, Donald, you just shut up and listen, and you might learn something. Now, nothing brings down real estate prices quicker than a good old-fashioned gang war. Except maybe a disaster like a biblical plague or something, but that may be going too far in this case. You getting this down, you four-eyed prick? Now, recently, a Haitian gang lord died. Apparently, the Cubans did it. Nobody's certain, but let's make them certain. You disguise yourself as a Cuban hombre and head on down and crash that funeral. Mix it up, and then hightail it. You getting this down, Donald? Well, that ought to put the coyote in the chicken coop, huh? And then we'll just sit back and watch the prices tumble. This ain't Leo. Hey, if Leo knows you got his phone, he's gonna kill you. Maybe Leo's already dead. Maybe I killed Leo and took his phone. Did you ever think of that, prick? You kill Leo? You must have big on it. Wanna work for me? Come by my father's cafe in Leo Havana. And we'll talk mano y mano. What are you doing? That's so pleased with yourselves now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, watch where you're waving that thing. No more pigeon shit on my car, eh, hey, Tommy? Guess not. <laughs> you're damn right. Now listen, you know who owns the fastest boat on the East Coast? Not offhand, no. Me! And I want it to stay that way. Every smuggler from here to Caracas has one dream. A faster boat. Rumor has it the boatyard has just completed such a vessel for some Costa Rican dickhead. And Tommy... I want that boat! Ah, I thought I got you! Where'd you come from? I think your ah. pigeons are back.
He's in a real bad mood. Eject plastic crap. You doing this to me? Who do you think you are, you piece of plastic shit? Oh. Oh. Screw you! It is my favorite Albuto movie, it's died. What else can I do? It's probably not plugged in. What? Damn. No matter. I can buy a hundred more. Now, Tommy. Each month, a freelancer sails into Vice City and moors his yacht. He sells his cargo to the first boat. I want you to take the speedboat and beat all the other shitheads to it. Then you bring the cargo here, okay? Let me guess. You thought I could use a guardian angel. I'm just saying, you need to let me in there, my man. Now, you can feed me all this lonely tough guy crap, but I know one day I'm gonna save your ass, and you're probably gonna wanna kiss me. Wacko. <laughs> we got some competition. So, Tommy, we know it was Diaz busted our deal. So why in the hell are we running errands for him? The more we learn now, the less we have to learn when we take this town over. I like your style, man. Real fresh. It's time for the man's man's dance. Yourself. They're coming from all over. Got him. Hit for Diaz as fast as you can. Eat it. Eat it. Sleep with the fish. Shooting my friend. 
friend. You're a real proper grade-A lunatic. Well, thank you. See you around, Tommy. Okay, Mr. Lance Vance Dance. Something. What do you want? Nothing. Just to say, you know, look, Tommy, we can do this thing. You and me, no problem. You know what I mean? We're going to have to do it, because otherwise we're going to be dead, Lance. We're in too far now. But thanks for the call. Speak to you later. I'm Hi, Mel China. It's Paul. I might have a little result for you, but I need to speak to you in person. I'm enjoying a little arm and arm at the Club Malibu. I reckon you're going to owe me a favour or two out of this sunshine. I'll see you later. All right, Mush. I'm going to save your Vera, mate. What the hell are you talking about? You know that wanker Diaz, the Bugelmeister? He's got your boy Lance. Word is you might try to jump him. Didn't jump high enough, if you know what I mean. Where did he take ah. him? Ah! Oh, I all right, plain English. Keep your party on. You're quite across town the junkyard. Bloody hell, you nutter! There goes my careful planning blown to shit. Thanks to you. You screwed up real good, Lance. He killed my brother. What do you expect me to do, mow his lawns? We're gonna have to take out that prick Diaz before he takes us out. You okay to use a gun? Sure, I guess. Nice to see you, too. Let's get out of here.
get patched up, and meet me on the bridge to Star Island, okay? Okay, I got you. Circumstances force a hasty departure, amigo. What's the problem? Ah, the French want their missile technology back, and after that last incident, I feel it is time to find safer hoppers. Wouldn't it be safer to fly? I'd be dead before I reach check-in. Besides, I need to get my merchandise out of the country. Need another gun? You, my friend, are worth ten guns. <laughs> They've got a helicopter! Tomas, you have protected and served me well. And now you must leave us before we reach the open seas. I will lower my personal launch. Keep it, my friend. A token of my gratitude. Thank you, Colonel. Uh, one more request. 
While I'm away, could you keep an eye on Mercedes for me? I think she could look after herself, but sure, I'll keep an eye out. Gracias, amigo. Hasta luego. Adios, amigo. Got us some cannons in the trunk. Holy shit, where'd you get all this stuff? Been saving for a rainy day. <laughs> you like? Yeah, I like. This place is gonna be crawling with assholes. Be careful. Don't worry, Tommy. I'll cover you. Respond to a 10, 17, Centra, Tarsis Island. Suspect on foot. This was a 10, 17, Centra, Tarsis Island. This was a 10, 7, Centra, Tarsis Island. Diaz must be inside. Diaz! I've come to take over your business! Tommy! You betrayed me, you idiot! I'm gonna kill you real soon! Eat this, you murdering bastard! You stupid pricks! My beautiful house! Look what you done to it! This is for my brother! Oh. I trusted you, Tommy! 
<coughs> I would have had you made. Say good night, Mr. Diaz. Sonny. That's right, Sonny. We're all friends. You never write me, you never call. Don't you want to be friends no more? I've been busy trying to sort things out. You didn't give me a lot of support down here, Sonny. Oh, my fault, is it? Well, I've heard you've been busy, all right. Busy killing drug barons, busy taking over. Don't forget about us, Tommy, because I can assure you, I ain't forgotten about you. Oh, we gotta redecorate this place. We gotta make it look older. I can't stand this look. Tommy, what do you say? What do you say we put a bar in the... You're my lawyer, Rosenberg, not my interior decorator. Got it? Listen to me. The time to take over this town is now. It's all out there waiting for us. We need to start seizing territory and let Vice City know we're the new players in town. You know what I'm saying? What you need is a legitimate front, Tommy. Real estate. It's never done me no harm. We need to start using some muscle. Or we can kiss all that hard work goodbye. Local business know Diaz is dead, and they're refusing to pay protection. Oh, we could try bribery. Bribery? Screw bribery. I'll show you how to make them scared. I'll be back here in five minutes. You know I've been going on. I run this town now. Me.
What's eating you? There's a lot of opportunity in this town if you own the right real estate. You catch my drift? I reckon so. All I'm saying is keep your eyes open and you might find the perfect business opportunity. I'll catch you later. Later, Avery. What's the problem? Some bars refusing to pay. They reckon they're protected by a local gang of thugs. But don't worry, Tommy. I can handle it. You call this handling it? You two, off your asses. Let's go. Get in the car, useless. She needs a little more protection. Ah, oh, hell, not again. I don't need this crap. These idiots operate out of DBP security around the block. You guys just sorted out a bunch of yourselves. I'll be seeing you later. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I just came here for some pussy. Tommy, we gotta talk about stuff. What's the problem, Lance? It's you, my friend. I feel you're not giving me a fair slice. And more than that, you've been embarrassing me in front of the boys. I can't have that. Lance, it ain't like that. You've been making mistakes. Tommy, I'm not your message boy. I'm not your running boy. Lance, don't screw up and we won't have any problems. I screw up, you can lay into me anytime. Tommy, I've done everything for you. You treat me like a fool. Don't do that. Lance, I won't rip you off or stab you in the back, okay? Just take it easy. This is tough enough without you getting all emotional on me. Trust me. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I hear you, Tommy. But I can't take this much more. Lance, don't be like this. Now I'm warning you. Do you hear me? Just relax. Take a few days off. Okay? I'll talk to you. You moron! What were you thinking? Do you realize what this means? We could all the, be so... I don't know. The timer must have got screwed. 
That place was wired to go up like a firework factory. And somebody tipped off the cops, but everything What's the problem, apart. fellas? Mike was supposed to torch some place in the mall, but he screwed the fuses, and now uh, the cops are crawling all over it. We gotta get our stuff and get out of here. Relax, both of you. Let me think for a second. Tommy Versetti just doesn't cut and run. The cops are gonna be going over that building with a fine-tooth comb, right? But that takes time. We gotta go in and torch that place ourselves. Yeah, but... No one but a cop could get within a mile of that place. So we go as cops. We gotta get uniforms and we're gonna need a squad car. All thanks to you, Mike. I'm sorry. I got it. All we gotta do is lure the cops in with the finger, put them in a locker, and jump them. Good plan. Let's go. All right. Him, Mario. Okay, Lance, let's get the cops' attention. Mine too, mine too. Brother, no cop drives this bad. Remember, smile at the other cops. Hey there, officer. Nice badge, nice badge. Real smooth, Lance. Okay, timers are set. Five seconds and ticking. Five seconds! We got to get the hell out of here!
Tommy, it's me, Lance. Keep your mouth shut there, Tommy, because I ain't got no time to talk. I ain't interested in what you got to say. Why should I be? You don't care about me, do you? You got to look after me a bit better. Give me a spare slice, you know? Hey, Tommy, man, look, hey, I'm sorry. It's just that people patronize me all my life, treat me like a little kid. My brother would do that. Please, man, don't do that. I got to go. Yes! Brilliant, bloody brilliant! Hey, Tommy! Glad you could make it. Hey, you ever met Love Fist before? No, I haven't, but I've always loved your music. Let me introduce you to the band. This is Per Percy, Dick, and Willie's in the Kazi, and that was Jez in the booth earlier. And guys, I want you to meet a good friend of mine. This is Tommy. We go way back. Hey, pal. And, uh, what was your name again? <laughs> Jez, you remember. Lovefest. Don't be Did playing them games with me, Did mate. I'm too crafty for that sunshine. English. Good See, one in America. The, the thing is, Tom, mental. the boys totally need some help. Totally they ain't too connected here. They don't have them old ass, totally your father. Man. We need some drugs, pal! Gotta get on the old <laughs> love yeah, fish, yeah, no, fury, yeah. you know? Yeah! Well, this is Vice City, man. What's the problem? Love juice, man. We need love juice, man, gang. Love juice? Aye, two parts boom shine, one part trumpet, five fizz bombs, and a litre of petrol. Can you help us out, pal? Oh, we really mean a lot you to the boys. You can do that for the boys, right? Looking for something special? I got what you need. Thanks for the money, sucker. You think that's funny, asshole? This is what the damn seventeen central downtown. This is what the damn seven central downtown. Hey, Mike, the quad could throw with some company. I know what's on me. I know just the girl. Mercedes. Hiya, Tommy. And how are you? Just fine. Listen, you fancy having love fist? Okay. But just as a favor, I expect returned.
I see you later, big boy. Tommy, man, am I glad to see you. What's going on? Bad vibes, Tommy. Aye, I'm knee joking again. It is heavy stuff, man. Heavy gang. Where's this cat? We hardly know him, but he knows us. Like this cat. Knows all about us. Knows that Willie likes his ladies' underwear, eh? Or that Percy likes to Shut up, you that. fool. Just get hey. jazz bomb yes. sheet. To love rocket thing, can. <laughs> Shut yeah, up. Yeah, I love rocket <laughs> thing, right? But listen, this cat. The, the guy wants love fist dead. Dead, Tommy. Love fist gone. You know what they say, the good die young, but Tommy, you've got to save love We've fist. We've got a signing in two hours, and I think... Yeah, and, and the boys think the stalker's going to try some monkey business there. Looking for Big Mitch Baker. Who's looking? Tommy Rossetti. Rossetti? You don't look like the law, so that's bought you a minute. You better talk fast. Ken Paul said you might be interested in pulling security for a gig he's got set up. Ken Paul? Shh. No wonder he sent you. The last time he was here, he left through the window in nothing but his limey birthday suit. Are you interested or not? We only do favors for our own. How do I join? This ain't no country club, boy. Can you handle a bike? Can you sit on a stool and drink? Cougar, Zeppelin, go see how this girl handles the bike. Oh, man. All right, fancy blues, let's see what you can do. Oh, 
Hey, Rossetti, Cougar says you can handle a bike pretty good. Yeah, how many more errands am I gonna have to run? I'm a very busy man. If it's a fight that's gonna sell this, then bring it on. Being one of us ain't just about brawling. It's about being part of a family. Yeah, I've been part of a family before, all right? It didn't work out. Yeah, all right, but this family takes care of its own. We don't ask a man to do the dirty work and then let him do 15 years hard time. Yeah, that's right, I've done my homework. This here's the biggest family of misfits, outcasts, and badasses. Hell, some of us have even been betrayed by our own country. I was locked up during non-ugly business. Which is why I'm gonna ask you to go mess with the man. This whole damn country needs a kick in the ass, and we're the ones to deliver it. So get out there, grab a bike, and show this city how pissed you are. See how good you can fight for your patch. A local street gang made the mistake of stealing my hog. Probably because of some machismo thing or something. Me and the boys would go over there and teach them a lesson in respect and all. Anyways, then I got to thinking. This would make a good initiation for you. You get my bike back, you can tell Paul he's got his security. Come on. Come on, come on.
Hey, it's Mitch. You did good, Tommy. It's good to have the old girl back. You tell Kent Paul, he'll get his security for the gig. You have my word on that. Now keep yourself out of trouble. Tommy! Tommy! Tommy, man! That say goes back! What's going on? That psycho won't leave Love Fist alone! You didn't kill him, man! And now he's back! Yeah, 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 the thing is... The thing is, we need someone to drive the limo we can trust, cos that nutter keeps making threats! Shell me, I need my mom! We're all breaking ourselves, man! Okay, guys, calm down, I'll handle this. Normally, I wouldn't busy myself with driving around a bunch of drunken Scottish bisexuals. But in your case, I'll make an exception. At last, man. Time for a well earned drink. Are you finished? Just a hundred yards doing the road, then? Better make it a large one, then. Hey, Tommy, change the tunes, man. I get all confused if my head's not banging. Ah, oh, look! What's this? Hey, Tommy, stick this tape on! No fist. Your time polluting the airwaves is over. I gave you the chance to be friends. Well, now I'm giving you the chance to die. You try and slow down, your limousine will explode, along with your big airy asses. Tommy, pal, you've got to save the band. I'm getting bored of this. Just keep the pedal to the metal. Go to find it, Bob! Can't we just drive around all day? I would get plenty to drink. The bomb may be in the engine. We need stop to get. We're all going to die. I'm going to get pissed. Hey, there's a few here, pal. Hey, man, I'm just near the drinks cabinet. Get him away. Hey, the vodka bottle's got wires coming out here. That's no vodka. That's boomshine. Ah! It's way up to blow. Ah! Oh, it said the drink would kill me! I've seen this on the telly. You gotta pull out one of the wires. Which wire? I don't know, man. I don't have a clue. Willie, she's showing. I'm gonna play bass in hell. Tommy, man, keep driving fast, pal. Somebody do something. I clever. Somebody do something for kind of crap is that? I've seen braver quines. Okay, tough guy, you do something. Look, man, I play a musical instrument. I got a clue about bomb disposal. Willie could just suck the boom shine out with a straw. I have heard that you're good at that kind of thing. Uh, hey, I was off my tits that night as well, you know. Just pass Willie a straw. Are you a straw? This is a love fist to a bus. What am I going to get a straw fake if I mean? Which wire, Tommy? The green one. There isn't a green one. Oh, 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 is this a green one? Any of these wires look green to you? Oh, net and death in the car, so it looks green. I should have dumped you a lot when I had the chance, man. Glory seeker. Capitalist! I've been carrying you for years. Shut up, you muppet. Big screaming girl. Aye, shut it and pull a wire. Which wire? This one. No! Yo, you went my way. Man, we're OK. We ain't been blown up. Tommy, my nice one. Rock and roll, man. And we got a gig to go to. A racket to make groupies to abuse. Oh, oh fist! Oh, fist! Oh, fist! Have you finished with our ball? Get the kid with so 
we show you our like, temple of rock. <laughs> Get a feel for the love of this free. Listen to yourself, man. It's paper mashing gravity. Hey, to the kids, it's a temple, and we are the priests. I will. If the kids like the priests half cut and going dead, the matter of you. Oh, I did to get chewed up again. This rate will never get a play alive. Oh, shite. My bowels. I right, can't go on with it, dead show. Uh, thanks again, Tommy. Give him a nice one. Bye. Hey, man. Hey, easy, papi. This man's for me. You. You the boy? Oh, yeah. You the boy. I think so, you know. No, I don't think I do. Oh, yeah? You come here, tough guy. You think you'll take me on? You think you'll play stupid with me? No, I think you're playing plenty stupid enough for both of us. Hey, he call you dumb, son. And I call him a little girl, papi. Look at him. All dressed up like that. What is this? Ladies' night? You some kind of tough guy? You dress like a woman? You got on panties like a woman too, huh? What do you got against women? You prefer men, big boy? I like women. I like all women. I love my mother, Chico. All right, all right. I'll take your word for it. Relax. Can you drive, amigo? Yeah. Like a woman. <laughs> Very funny. I like you, big boy. Maybe you can help. Maybe you can prove you're a man, huh? Take out the boat. Show me you got some big cojones. And not some little very chiquita ones. Hey, I'm Rico. You the man with the big cojones? Tommy Versetti, let's go. Okay, man. Treat her like a woman. Amigo, you're the man, man! Call yourself a man, man? Show me some ID. You're a little scaredy kitten, baby boy. Go cry to your mommy. Man, you the man, man! I like you, man! I like you a lot! <laughs> 
Anytime, man, because you got cojones, and all my friends, they got big cojones! <laughs> Tommy, enough dead man been chatting about you, my dear. Thought you might need something to make you feel better. So Auntie Pule make you some stew, eh? Come and check me kitchen sometime, okay, Tommy? Papi, my problem, Tommy. Papi, who grabbed Lorema? Roberto, my son, what happened? The Haitians. I hate these Haitians. They messed with me for the last time. These, these Haitians. We'll take them out. Only we need some backup. I lost a few hermanos already out there. Amigo, you drive good. For a woman, right? This is no time for joking. Come on, drive for me again. Take my boys over there, and then we'll take these Haitians down. If they mess with me. They mess with the biggest boy in town! I am King Cubano, man. We're gonna fight like men! Amigo, good to see you can make it. This stinking nest of Haitians, we're gonna kill them all! Charge! That cowardly sniper! You trying to kill me or something? With huge cojones! I want to hear you scream! Tommy, we have proved our mental bravery! Let us steal a man full of drugs and make a good escape!
Roberto. Uno cafe, Papa, senor. Don't serve the snake in the sauce. You're two-faced, Tommy. You're either two-faced or you're a wimp, baby boy. The Haitians, man, they're laughing at me. Easy, easy. What's your problem? They're laughing at me, Tommy, at me, Humberto Rubino. They're doing whatever they like. Nobody does whatever they like, Humberto. They do what you let them do. What? You want somebody taken care of? I can handle it, but it's going to cost you. I know we're brothers and all, but this is business. Tommy, you are a real man. Businessman, a gentleman. These Haitians, they have a load of product coming in offshore. Really good stuff. We take it, and we finish them. You take it, and I look after you. Like my brother, like my son. I think I prefer the cash to being bounced on your knee, amigo. Rico, nice boat. You ready? See, si, Tommy, now you be a good shot today. My boat, she no good. Full of holes, okay? Come in, my dear, and rest your soul. You must be the big bad man my granddaddy been chatting about. Tell me things about you, you know, when he visits, and about the others who wait for you. Now, we all dead from long time, but you, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. <laughs> I got a message to come here. Can you hear them? 
Them calling your name, boy, must want you pretty bad, don't you think? Now you do all Auntie Pulea Turner, maybe she help you. Maybe she can give you a little juju after all of this. Give you some magic to give the lawman man the stink eye. Mm? Look, this is all very, um, give me what? I, I, I think I got the wrong address. Give me these things, Tommy. The Cubans' nasty, proud foo-foos. Mm. Been making my lovely Haitian boys shake their heads. Now they told the policeman where me been stashing my powders. They think it drugs. Them stupid. Now be a good boy, Tommy, and go and get the powders for Auntie Poulet. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Muscle chump. Sorry, I, I must have the wrong address. Well, you might as well come in and rest your souls and have some tea. Do you have something there for me, Tommy? Yeah. This place feels familiar to me. Uh, it's, a, it's a smell from childhood, a deja vu. Now, Tommy, I'm going to whisper a little errand for you. Hear me well, I. You look like someone I... I... The Cubans have fast boats they use to cross the seas with drugs. It is their livelihood. My nephew been making little flying bombs to take them out. Blow the boats to coffin wood. Thanks for the tea.
I'm looking for somebody around here. You're looking hungry, Tommy. Do I know you? Hush now. One more thing and I can let you go, Tommy. My boys can war with them Cuban boys, but no guns. But the Cubans have a surprise coming. While they fight in the streets, you take this rifle and kill them in the hubbub. No one sees you, no one hear you. Now, Tommy, you do this for me, and you no longer tie to my apron strings. Okay, Auntie. I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kill me a Haitian. And then, and then I'm going to make love like a man. You know that, Chica? Something like this. Ah, 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 ah. Who's ah. Hey, baby! Oh I wouldn't God. touch I you with a 10 foot pole. Humberto like Romina, he likes the lady, so not funny. some goat in a skirt. Tommy, Tommy, I love you. I love you. Let's go. <laughs> go where? Can I get a cup of coffee first? No time for coffee. Besides, I just had one. We're gonna take out the Haitians. Tommy, how do you take out a snake? You bite him in the ass. <laughs> Whatever you say, Humberto. Tommy, you go and get us a little Haitian car. When you get it, come back and pick up my boy, Pepe. And take them out to the Haitians. Then, you go around to the Haitians' processing plant. And you use their solvent as an explosive. Boom! Bye-bye! Humberto, what about you? Uh, I'm going to stay behind and watch over that cafe with Papa. He not feeling so good, you know? The last thing I needed was this. Maybe the last thing I needed was an enema, but this comes close. Let's go find our muchachos. You know, they do nice pizzas here. Whoa, man, you drive like a crazy bitch. You lost, man? Hola, this amigos. Living. Oye, the solvent is around the back, amigo. Bueno, hey, and putas. Muertes. Vamos. Vamos, indeed. Follow my compadres.
Okay, in you go. Going to plant the bomb. Cover me. Cafe. Oh, wonderful. Incredible, Tommy. Incredible. No whims, Tommy. Just real men. And the beautiful women. Anyway, I wanted to tell you, me and Papi, to us, you're Cubans. You have proved yourself, man. You got big cojones. Well, thank you, Umberto. Nobody said that to me since I left jail. See you around. I'm not guilty. Get to the payphone next to the mall in Washington.
The European gang plans to hit the bank in Vice City. My employees would rather this didn't happen. Each member of the gang has a cover while they are here in Vice City. Some have menial jobs, others are on vacation. Each target and their likely whereabouts are taped under the phone. Get to the payphone at the airport terminal. Time to fry bigger fish, Mr. Teal. There's a rifle and the foliage to your right. Watch the woman standing on the balcony above the check-in desk. She will walk through the crowd and ask someone the time. You must kill that person, retrieve the case, and take it to the location taped under the phone.
huge stick. Tommy, hey Tommy, look at this. This is great. I've got us this mini bar installed. We got a whole bar downstairs, Ken. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, I got the chalkboard you asked for. Ah, that's the benefit of a law school education. The ability to follow instructions. No, I need a safe man. Oh, all right, well, let me think. Safe, safe, safe. safe. I got it. This guy will blow you away. Ah, no, nah, that schmuck, he's on the inside. Where inside? And a police headquarters cell awaiting transfer. I think he's about to get paroled. Cam Jones? Yeah, that's me. I'm busting you out. Whatever you say. Come on. Lose the heat and get me back to my place. Washington Beach. 
Doing a job, and you're my safe cracker. Pete's losing my ass in his cell. We need a stick up man, you know one? Hey, Tommy, 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 this stuff keeps you sharp, man. I could be your stick-up man. Stick him up. Stick him up. You ain't a stick-up man. You're an idiot. Now get yourself a drink and shut up. Hey, get out of my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow, ow, ow. Relax. Cam, what do you think? Well, the best shooter in this town is a guy named Cassidy. Is that so? Yeah, a military guy, or thinks he is. I doubt he was ever in the army, but he certainly knows how to get a hold of guns. He'll be down at the shooting range. Cassidy? Why? I'm looking for a man who can handle a gun. In this setup, I'm not too convinced. Son, I can shoot a fly off your head at 80 feet. Oh, really? Yeah, I learned it in the Army. Fly shooting real popular in the Army? 
Glad I don't pay tax. You trying to be funny, kid? <laughs> That's shoot! So, you want to do me a favor and help me put together a job? Son, after shooting like that, if you asked me to be your wife, I'd say yes.
Things are starting to come together nicely here. What's the plan, Tommy? Que pasa, amigo? The plan is you keep doing that like a moron. <laughs> Anyhow, we need a driver. Tommy, I'll do it. I can drive. <laughs> you want Hillary, mister. Not some smart-talking law school chum. Hillary's a real deal. You ain't never seen anyone drive so fast. I'll give him a call here. Hey, Hill. It's Phil. How's it going? No, don't talk. We'll reminisce later. You want to do me a favor? I got me a guy from up north. Oh, no, I don't think he was in the service. But he wants a driver for a bit of action. Okay, I understand. What do you say? Well, he'll do it, no problem. Well, there might be a little problem. See, he has abandonment issues. Seems he won't work for anyone who can't beat him. Something to do with his mama. Anyway, he wants to race you first. Said he'd meet you outside. Abandonment issues? Who is this freak? Why can't I meet someone normal for a change? You Tommy? Oh. Of course you're Tommy. I mean, why else would anyone want to speak to me? Okay, consider it this way. I'll drive for you if, and only if, you can drive properly. Leave me alone, and I'll never forgive you. Hello? Okay, I'll drive for you, but please tr treat me bad. As you can see, gentlemen, this is going to be the easiest buck we ever made. Hey, Tommy, seriously, you gotta consider going into law. Uh, what the hell are you smoking, man? This ain't no simple plan. Well, who needs a simple plan anyway? Take communism. Now that was a simple plan. Didn't do Russia any favors, huh? Calm down, all right? With a team like this, it's gonna be no problem. We got Cam on safe. Phil, you and me will handle security. And Hillary will drive the get I, I don't... Uh, <laughs> aren't you forgetting somebody? Somebody who helped you to no end in this town? Somebody Ken! Like... Ken, that's right. Ken here, he washes the money for us. And he keeps the drinks on ice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. Look, it's easy. Haven't you ever seen a movie? We walk into the bank. We wave the gun around and leave very rich men. I'll drive. Great! A passenger... Wait till I tell the group about this. Man, you stink. Tom! 
Tommy, Hillary's taking up too much room. I am not. R2. Hey, shut up, you two, or you can get out and walk. Yeah, Hillary. For God's sakes, Bill, stop waving that thing around. I'll stay low to that thing. Keep driving around the block, okay? Okay, Tommy, okay. Okay, guys, nice and easy, just as we planned. Hey, man. I guess the blood flowing. This is a raid! <laughs> Nobody move! Everybody up against that wall! Phil, hold down the fort. Wilco, roger that! Come on, Cam, the vault's upstairs. Stick my It's a flangey 9000. This could take hours to crack. Or five minutes if you could find a manager. I'll go find where he's holed up. Bill, things still sweet? Sure. Everything's real quiet. You. You're coming with me. Okay, okay, just don't shoot. I said nobody move! It's on a time lock. You might as well give up now. Hell, I can bypass the time lock. Then we just need your key code and we're good. Stay here. You try anything and you're dead. I'm gonna check on Phil. I'll be right back. I told you not to touch that alarm! The SWAT team will be here any minute. I could do with some help here, Tommy! Surrounded? <laughs> They're crapping themselves. You rotten bastards. Tommy, the vault's open. Okay, we got the SWAT retirement fund. Let's get out of here. Okay, you asked for it. You had your last chance. They're storming the place. Take cover! Protect them, 19 North, de La Habana. Protect them, 19 North, de La Habana. Protect them, 19 North, de La Habana. Respond to the 10s. 
Tommy, what I tell ya? Ben Swap better watch out when Ken Paul is in town. Come on, give me a bigger slice, mate. Come on, I gotta get some new friends. I never ran this system around, man. Tommy, I really enjoyed working with you. Ain't had so much fun since the Ridge and Nam, pal. Anyhow, if you need anything, you call on me, you hear? I always remember those I served with, and I'm sure I can help you out, you hear? She's always giving me a hard time. Get to the payphone in Little Havana. There is a valuable exchange taking in place on the roof of the Cherry Popper Ice Cream Company. Feel everyone involved, steal the merchandise and exit the helipad at the airport. There is a gate to your left that leads to the back of the factory.
Bill! Run! Run! Ah, wait! Never get a naked lane too close to where the Phil Cassidy's moonshine still. Shit, Phil. Did you drink that stuff? Hell, you don't have to drink it. Just a good whiff will set you off. Ah, Listen, Phil, you said you could fix me up with some firepower. Sure thing. There's some Mexican gunrunner been doing me for business of late. He does his weekly run about now. <clears throat> hey. Ram his hardware off the back of his trucks before he goes to ground. And you'd be doing me a favor while you're at it. Then finish him off. What are you doing driving like that? Phil, how's it going? Hey, Tommy! How you doing? This bit you lie. I swear you should lay off that boom shine, man. It smells like paint stripper. It's making my eyes burn. Shh, 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 Tommy. Hey, come over here because there's something I want to show you. Something. Oof, God, should I be able to smell that from way over here? Don't boom. you worry about the Phil, smell, oof. Tommy. You just watch this. Shitty, cheap, bad news or something. There's some more on the bench.
Ta-da! Oh, damn! <laughs> Watch out! Charlie the tree light! Is it me or, or are the roads made of jelly? Broken spoon. Come out of here. You got me? Not the hospital, man. Too many cops in Viet Cong. There's an ex-army surgeon who owes me a few favors and a lawnmower. He's got a place down in Little Havana. Oh, look, a giant fish. Spoon, run. Woo, woo. B.J. Smith, and you must be Mr. Bassetti. Would you like the tour? Might as well. Well, I'm very sad to be selling the dealership to y'all. This is my first investment after I turned pro. But now, it's time for me to move on. You're leaving town. Not in too much of a hurry, I hope. No, I'm just coming out of retirement and preparing for my future comeback. The business wasn't too strong, and my staff took it upon themselves to get a bit more creative with the generational wealth. Obviously, I could wind down the business before handing it over. Hell, I could burn the place down if I wanted to. This is prime development land. Oh, I wouldn't worry about any of that. This place seems perfect. Yeah, it does. So I take it we have a deal. Guess you're the new owner. What are you, mob, cartel? You don't look Mexican. Anywho, I guess you better get on with the things are gonna change around here, crap. Maybe threaten one of the drivers. Go steady on Ted over there. He's just had his hernia fixed. Well, yeah, things are gonna change around here, lady. Oh, crap, Sonny. Might as well leave this to me. I've been doing this for years. Now, here's this. We are now under new management, and things are gonna change around here again. Our new management team. Which gang are you? Well, I'm not part of any gang, actually. What's your goddamn name, kid? Versetti. Tommy Versetti. Our new management, the Versetti gang, is gonna make sure we get no trouble. Capiche? Out. Did you like the capiche? I like the capiche. So this is how it's worked in the past. We run the firm as usual. If we get any trouble from rival firms, you beat the crap out of them. Then they beat the crap out of us. Then you beat the crap out of them, etc., etc. You got it? Uh, yeah, I guess. 
Just grab a taxi from the garage if you feel like jumping in. and he's picking up from Starfish Island. Any takers? Tommy here, I'll take it. This is my fare. Back off, asshole. Keep beating us to it. They just got too many cars. We can't compete. Mr. Bassetti, if you're out there listening in, you want to put the VC caps out of action before we go bust.
Okay, I got it. R13, out. No sign of Mercedes. It's time for Kaufman's Cab's guardian angel to eat some fender. Mr. Vercetti? Hey, you bought the old print works? Yeah, my old man used to work on these. I used to spend the evenings with him cleaning the rollers. I was gonna follow him in his trade, but I lived a different life. You planning on selling the old machinery? Breaking it down? I'm thinking we might print something. A newspaper, a magazine. Oh, crap, Sonny. Low-grade crap. I've always fancied printing money. It ain't too hard. You know, I've been doing it on a small scale for years. Really? Sure. But we need some good quality plates. Of course. There's a counterfeiting syndicate already operating in Florida. A syndicate? Yeah, with just rumors is all I've heard. I know a man who's good with rumors.
Girls, you're lost, mate, innit? All right, me old China. How's it hanging? What do you know about counterfeiting? Oh, I'm fine, Paul. How about you? Come here. Oh, all right, all right, all right. You're obviously a busy man. All I know about dodgy reddies is to try and supply the plates. Ah, oh, fuck. You know, they've got a shipping company down the docks. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the boss man would know when the plates are coming in next. Thanks, Paul. What's the matter with you, you maniac? Give me another drink, lively.
sunny. Obviously you are suffering from hearing problems, so I'll try again. Where's the goddamn money? Where's the goddamn stuff? And where's my gut? Are you new action? You are making an idiot out of me, Tommy, and I'm not laughing yet. All right, the courier's moving the plate from the docks today. I'm gonna go intercept them, grab the plates, lose any heat, and make my way back here. Now, depending how well this goes, we may have five minutes to print the money before the counterfeit syndicate finds us, or we may have all year. Either way, I want Green rolling off the presses five minutes after I get back. Got it? Don't you worry, Tommy. We'll be ready. Me and the boys will be around in the neighborhood in case you need any heat taken care of. All right, everybody cool? All right, I'll catch you later. idiot fuel and look after yourself. No one's gonna take us out. I'll see you later. I am calm. Don't I sound calm? Must be impending death that is doing this to my voice.
Hello? Put it out. There's a dude here. <clears throat> hey, suit dude, I guess you're the new owner. Yeah. Which one of the boats is the fastest? It's already in the water, dude. I thought you might want to try her out. Dude, she's already running with a 300 horsepower and engine. And the fiberglass hull? She just shoots through the waves. She can do like zero to 60 in four seconds flat, oh, dude. And she can hold like 20 bales of the best Jamaican yeah, smoke yeah. right in the hull. So go ahead, dude. She's ready to fly. Yo, yo, uh, suit dude. You got a light? Dude. Dude. Who are you? Your new owner. Were you now or at any time a child? What are you talking about? Were you a child? Yes, calm down. I What's knew wrong with you? it. A child. A dirty, stinking, sniveling, snotting, vile, puking, crying little baby. A baby! An awful, horrible, disgusting little boo who mommy doesn't love you. You little shit. Ow, calm down. I hate babies, and I hate children. They're dirty, sniveling, snotting, vile, puke. Enough little... already! What is wrong with you? You make soft ice cream, okay? It's purely for kids. What kind of psycho are you? Just so I understand this, why make children happy if you oh, hate them? Oh, you stupid, sniveling, snotty... Shut up! Rat! The ice cream is a front. We distribute other non-dairy products. And if I see a kid, I put him to good use. Don't I, kiddies? Yes, yes, I do. Mommy doesn't love you. She hates you. What a nice lady. 
still, you know, I hear there's good money in ice cream. Action. Whoa! Now that's big. Twelve inches. That is regulation, baby. <laughs> Cut! Who is this idiot? You! You! Why are you in my space? Why? What is all this crap? Aliens! Hey, baby, fishing are. poles! Who's ever seen a shark that big? All this stuff's gotta go! Why'd you get in this business, you prick? Huh? For the pussy. That's why. What is this? This is my art. Security! Look, you pompous asshole. I own you now. I own all of this. We're gonna turn this place around. I'm gonna make you rich. Uh, you're, you, you're Tommy Vassetti, but I thought that you were... That's right. We're gonna be making some changes around here and start making some real money. Actually, have you ever thought about, um... But first, we're gonna need some good-looking bras. Yeah, girls are fine, but you, <laughs> wow. What's that guy think this is, some footy art crap? Geez, like anyone ever watch movies about fish? stayed at home today. Can you believe this, asshole? Oh, it's over!
Hey, Mercedes. Hey, Tommy. You want a party? Not now, sweets. You interested in doing some movies? Of course, as long as it's cheap and sleazy. <laughs> You're hired. Get in. Tommy, you coming in for a warm-up? Maybe later, babe. Whoa! <laughs> cool shark. How's filming going, Steve? Well, Candy is a natural. And that new girl, she's insatiable. She went through half the cast and crew before I even took a light reading. Anyway, hey, tomorrow we're going on location to shoot the boat scenes. Boat and... scenes? What boat scenes? The fishermen are in the throes of passion when the giant shark comes in. What'd I say about the giant shark? <sighs> I said, no giant shark, all right? Just keep the cameras Pointed at the poon tag. Okay, okay. Hey, Tommy, you guys got to try, right? You get those flyers printed up? Yeah, but nobody's going to let us distribute those things. I mean, they're just too, uh, they're unimaginative. You don't yeah. worry about that. I've got my own ideas for distribution. Okay. Hey, Candy, uh, in my trailer.
Okay, what's the problem now? Shh. After his close encounter with the Nympho invaders, our hero finds himself unable to think of anything but this huge phallic mountain. And that's when I want to do the scene with the vat of mashed potatoes, but then we... I don't give a crap about that! Just keep going, keep going. You mentioned something about some legal problem on the phone. Congressman Alex Shrub has jumped on the pre-election bandwagon. He's going after the Puritan vote. Rumors are he's going to support measures to restrict, shall we say, the more fleshy aspects of this nation's great entertainment industry. Okay, all right. Okay. Candy, you know Shrub. You guys get up to anything kinky? Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Candy. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. got that. Was that part of the, uh, was she talking to? Hey, I can never tell. Anyway, you're probably mm. best following her after the shoot. See if she'll lead you to their new love nest. Mm. You got a camera? Mm -hmm. Yeah, get him a camera. <sighs> Hey. Uh, Candy, could you call me Martha? Oh, Alex. I mean Martha. Whatever you say. Martha?
Someone's watching. <laughs> How kinky. You, give me that camera. but I just can't swallow oh, this right on, now. come on, darling. He's hung like a sperm whale, for pity's sake. How can you not feel the part? But Stevie... Now's my star director. Oh, man, the struggle between mm. the artistic integrity and the humping, pumping action <sighs> continues unabated. Mm. And before you ask, yes, all four videos will be released mm. by their... Honey, can you please keep the Andacon and the shoddy cost more per hour than you do? Oh, sorry, Steve. I was thinking, we need some kind of big stunt to really promote the launch. Mm. Something that will make a real impact on this city. You got any ideas? Well, in the old days, they used to have gala events, stars, limos, the night sky crisscross with searchlights. Searchlights. I got an idea. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, little sequin numbers and the limos. Uh, oh, mm. premieres. Oh, yes, uh, ma'am. Of course, yeah. ma'am. And the mm. press and the barrage of lights.
What do you want, Paul? I don't want any fake label clothes. Very funny, mate, but you know I don't touch bank gear. No, I was just calling to see if I could get a part in one of your movies. Back in England, I did a lot of blue stuff, mate. I'm packing more weight than you, my son. Paul, thanks for the offer. I'll bear that in mind. Seriously, don't forget about me. I feel I've done for you. That's what I'm trying to forget about. Hey, hello, Tommy, Tommy. We got a situation over at Printworks. You better go and check it out. I don't know, some kind of mess or other. Things are messed up. I gotta go. Oh. Okay, what's the emergency? Oh. Who? Oh, Tommy. Some mob thugs said they'd come to take their cut. Said it was a Mr. Farello's money. Oh, I feel like crap. Farelli? Sonny Farelli? Yeah, that's the guy. I think. They were very Holy insistent. Pop. I'm not angry with you. Get him to the hospital. Tommy, rip that guy a new asshole for me. I'm gonna rip him too! Thank you. 
going on? Tommy! Oh, good, good, good. Listen, listen, uh, listen. I like fish. I love fish. I love them as pets in bowls, or as food on a plate, but as much as I love them, I don't want to sleep with them, okay? But right now, your Italian brothers are coming from up there to fit me with some cement shoes, and I- Shut up, Ken! Sit down! Lance, what the hell's going on? It's your friends up north, Tommy. They ain't too happy you kept their man. They're coming down to see the business today. They took longer than I thought. Guys, we gotta make this final. We gotta leave no doubt that this is my operation. Mine! Ken, you get the first one to counterfeit cash and put 20 mil in briefcases. Lance, you get the guys together. Tommy! What? No big hugs for your old buddy? I've had 15 years out of the loop. I'm a bit rusty <laughs> on family etiquette. Oh, he's angry, huh, Tommy? Didn't I say your temper would get you into trouble, huh? There's three mil in the cases. How many was it? Ten? No, eleven men. That's how you get to be called the Howard Butcher. <laughs> you sent me to kill one man. One man! They hey, knew Tommy, I was coming, Sonny. Tommy! Watch your tone. Anyone would think you blame me for that unfortunate set of circumstances. Just take the money. Get the damn cash. You know, Tommy, I did what I could for you. I pulled strings, called in favors. I was your friend, Tommy. I hoped you'd see sense, see what's good for business. I trusted you, Tommy, and you disappointed me. But at least someone in your chicken shit organization knows how to do business. Isn't that right, Lance? I'm sorry, Tommy, this is Vice City. This is business. <laughs> you sold us out. No, I sold you out, Tommy. I sold you out. The real cash is upstairs in the safe. So Tommy, what was the big plan? You think I just take the fake cash, save face, and run away with my tail between my legs? No, I just wanted to piss you off before I kill you. No one to cover your ass now, eh, hey, Tommy? You're going down, you backstabbing prick. Oh, you think so?
are you double-crossing piece of shit? The history, Tommy! History! It took 15 years from me, Sonny, and now I'm gonna make you pay! You still don't get it, do you? I own you, Tommy! Those 15 years were mine to spend. Get him, boys, he never understood a thing. Tommy? Oh my god, Tommy, what, what happened? What does it look like? It looks like you ruined your suit, and Tommy, that was a beautiful suit. Tommy, what on earth happened? Had a disagreement with a business associate. You know how it is. Tommy, I have a disagreement. I send them an angry letter. Maybe I pee in their mailbox. I don't start World War III. You know, maybe you should speak to my shrink. That stupid prick, Lance. Tommy, I never liked that guy, okay? He's neurotic, he's insecure, he's self-centered. The guy's an asshole. I'm glad you took him out. I don't think we're gonna be getting any more heat from up north either. Because there ain't no up north anymore. It's all down south now. Wait, does that mean what I think it means? Tommy, baby! What do you think it means? That we're in charge. I mean, I mean that you're in charge. Oh, Tommy! You know, Ken, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful business relationship. After all, you're a conniving, backstabbing, two-bit thief, and I'm a convicted psychotic killer and drug dealer. <laughs> I know. Ain't it just beautiful?
miss, Paolo. How are you? Right, mate, anyway, thought I had to drop you a line. Oh, my good lord, my son, you will not believe the quality of the brass I just encountered. Streetwalker or something, just down in Little Havana, mate. Said her name was Mercedes or something. Oh, my god, mate, you've got to check this bird out. Could strip the lead out of a pencil. Said I was the best you ever had and all. Keep your potato skin for I'll be seeing ya. Tommy, Tomas, it's Cortez, que pasa? Things are interesting. How are you, my friend? What's going on? I wanted to ask you about Mercedes. Okay. What about her? Oh, Tommy. Tommy, I, I, I hear these stories, all these stories. I don't know what to think. Maybe she thinks she could do what she likes. But, Tommy, tell me, is it true? Is what true? These stories I hear. She, she, she really going to be a lawyer. Tommy, the shame. The shame. You know, we Cortez are a proud family. We would never allow a daughter of ours to become a lawyer. Please, tell me it isn't so. I, I don't think I could take it. Oh, Colonel, I can assure you, Mercedes is never going to become a lawyer. Don't worry about it. Oh, thank you, Tommy. Tommy, thank you. The shame would be unbearable. She's a lady, not a parasite, you know? Anyway, Tommy, you must excuse me, all right? The new Minister of Interior has arrived. Many years ago, I killed his father in a failed coup, so I must be polite. Hey, good day, amigo. Look out! Tommy Facetti, how's it going, Mr. Big Shot? I hear all these things about you, some kind of player in town now, eh? Paul, you're drunk. No, you stupid pal, I ain't drunk. I had a couple and some treats. I've been a bit of a couple of days, you know. Anyway, don't give me that, I ain't a mug. Who set you up in this town? Oh, me, that's who. Really? Don't give me that, don't. I introduced you to people, I showed you the ropes. Did a lot of stuff for you, and this is how you repay me. You ignore me. You won't give me a way in, or after all that I did for you. What do you think I am, a devil or something? Paul, take it easy. I've been busy. Don't be an idiot. I ain't no idiot, Mush. That's what I said in Bolstal. You all skip the trouble, son, because you're going to get it. <laughs> Tommy, mate, please. Use me big O, please. Don't laugh at me. Uh, Paul, get some sleep, seriously. Tommy, it's Ernest. Ernest Kelly. Hey, how are you? I'm doing okay. I'll need a stick to walk, but I should be back at work soon enough. Good. I heard about Lance. What a little prick, huh? Yes. Never trust a man who walks the streets in his pajamas, that's what I say. Glad you killed him. I hope it was painful for the prick. I think it was. You know, I just didn't think he was like that. Tommy, for a raging lunatic, you're pretty naive. I'll be back at work soon. Teach you a thing or two about life, you hear? Take your time, Ernest. Look after yourself. Tommy, it's Steve. You're a marvel. I'm a marvel. They love us. We are rewriting the record books, pal. We're talking major awards here. I can put my dad in a home and tell him to shut up. It's hot, man. Hot. H-O-T. He never believed in me. Never thought I was an artist. And now I've made it. I'm the best damn skin flick director of all time, my friend. And I just wanted to say, it's a pleasure to have met you. I love you, baby. Don't you go changing on me, you hear?